Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dara with Bliss in the Chaos on both Poshmark and eBay. And of course, here on YouTube, Bliss in the Chaos. Lately, I have been doing unboxing, unbagging videos of fabulous jewelry lots I've been getting online at um, shopgoodwill.com. But recently, my thrift stores have reopened. And of course, taking the social distancing precautions and mask wearing and everything, I have been partaking. I did find this bag at my lotion, oh, excuse me, at my local Salvation Army, one of them actually. And it was um, just a random, nice big bag of jewelry. It never even hit the counters because it doesn't have any price tags on it. It's not pulled jewelry. It's just jewelry that they didn't even put out. So this one here I paid $25 for, no discounts or anything. And I just weighed it and it's about six pounds. Six pounds at $25 over six pounds is approximately $4.16 a pound. And that's about where I like to be for my bulk jewelry. About I like it if it's under five bucks a pound, which is great. <laughs> this is a lot better than a lot of the Shop Goodwill lots I've been getting that are like over 150 bucks and just ridiculous. So we are going to open this bag and see what kind of good stuff we can find. Of course, it's going to be super fun and we will have interruptions from my children and perhaps a cat. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to use these to pull these staples out because I've been too often poking myself pretty badly with them. And that's not fun. I got a lot of watches and one of my recent boxes, two of my recent boxes have had a lot of watches and I've been teaching myself how to change the batteries and figuring out how to get them apart so I can clean them. And I have destroyed my thumbnails in the process. <laughs> oh, and I got this one dirty too, but they're not too bad. I cut them recently, so hopefully each. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, good. Sorry about my fingers. <laughs> okay. Opening her on up. I want to take this guy out first. I kind of like the felt. And it's stuck to a couple of things. Okay. Let's look at this stuff first. This is a little bit bent. This is just a little clip on earring and it is painted or is that enamel? But it's very very cheap feeling and bent up and kind of poorly made. So I think that'll go in the craft lot. This here is a um, lariat tie necklace piece and it is a silver tone heart. Again, no marks, but it's cute. So I'll keep it over here. Here I have an earring that is like, oof, it's hard to tell if that's like, is that like raw malachite or something? I don't even know, but it's like partly shiny and it looks like stone, but I don't know if it is stone. I don't know, it's strange. But then it's on this little gold piece, which is cute. Earring pile. <laughs> Here's another earring that came out. It looks like a little clay bead of some kind. That's cute. Here we have a little piece of beadwork. It's actually really nice with the dangles. I wonder what it was gonna go to. Maybe it's a pendant, a pin, I don't know. It's cute though and I like it. Okay, so this is a hoop, a hoop earring that has a couple of these little, these are plastic, not glass, but they're plastic and they're made to kind of look like frosted glass. It's kind of cool. Earring, here's another earring with a bunch of its little baguettes missing. And this is a J. Crew. And you can see on the back of it there that it says J. Crew. Let's see, we've got this nice dangle earring. It's a nice color. All right, and we have a bunch of pins. Okay. Interesting, okay. Okay, these are Lear, L-E-A-R, and that's a company here in Grand Rapids somewhere. So I'll take a peek at those a little closer. This is Lear Siegler Incorporated. Lear Siegler Incorporated. This must be their collection of um, year pendants, like for 
how long they've been with the company. That's kind of cool. Hmm. That's neat. Oh, this piece was pulled. Some of them were, pull were, were pulled. They wanted a dollar for this one. It's a brand new My Little Pony stretchy bracelet. Purple. I think it's a random pony. I don't think it's anybody specific. But purple is usually rarity, isn't it? Mm. Oh well. This is cute. It's a little fashion earring. This little plastic cabochon there is a little teardrop. We've got a dangle earring that's very cool. Mm, beautiful chandelier, purple tone. Oof, that's lovely. All right, let's get a pile out. <laughs> What's the Doctor Who thing? Wow, that's neat. These are some Doctor Who earrings. This says, one says bow ties and the other one says are cool. And then these ones are just the police box. Little earrings, 13 plus. Looks like a good gift for my friend Holly. <laughs> um, okay, we've got another earring here. It's just like a resin work drop earring, very cute. And here's this strange one. It's got some thread wrapped around it and it's kind of meh. It's like dirty right there. I think I'll blot that one. Okay, this is a key ring chain thingy. Which is cool. I may give it to one of my boys. <laughs> nice pearls. This one is broken. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put that in a bead lot. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Oof. This is um wood. And this, I think, is that um, grass or the straw wrapped and it's colored pink and purple and blue. Got some wood beads on it. It's a clip-on. That's really cool. Colorful. You gotta love the colors. Ooh, here's one of these glass ones. I really like these. That's so pretty. Look, it's like amoeba. Not amoeba. Anemone. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's like an anemone inside. That's so cute. I love that. Pendants. Here is a... Okay, we've got... This is wrapped around this earring figure that out. Okay, good. So this is a, a bleh. this is a little pin. And it is Christian mothers, most sorrowful heart of Mary, have pity on us and our children. Aw. That's nice. But no, I don't. No. These are nice. These little hooks. Pretty. Shiny. Here is a stretchy bracelet that's losing a lot of its stretch. And they're just plastic and bleh. I love it when it's the Aurora Borealis finish like that, but meh. Here is a, there's the Virgin Mary. With some more religious symbolism on the back. Here's a big acrylic cross. Who's this? Here's another clip on. This would be a uh, 1928. You see the scroll work on the back. I've mentioned before that's a 1928. It is missing a couple of Aurora Borealis um, crystals right there in there. Oof, sorry. And the cabochon is not, it's like missing its color on the other side there. That's strange. Huh. Adam, shush please, I'm doing a video, okay? Hi. This one needs cleaning, but it's kind of neat. I want Christmas. 
More for me, Mama. More for Christmas? Can you ask your brother to help you? Here's a cute little no. flower, a little study ring. Mm. Oh. Honey, see if he'll help you, okay? This is cute. It is, it looks like polymer clay and it's supposed to be a s'more. It's, a little, it's chipped on this side, but you see you've got the crackers and the marshmallow and the chocolate. That's really stinking cute. And that almost looks like a bite taken out of it. So heck, even if I chip away more of it and make it look like it was actually a bite, that's really cute. I like it. <clears throat> Here's another, that other earring. We got a nice pair there. Pair. Got a little vertigree. I'm going to have to Ooh, that's pretty. Real shiny silver hoop, multi hoop. It's got five. Nice. What's this? This is just like a button. Craft lot buttons. Okay, here is another clip on. Just a plain red, and it's got a little gold stripey down it. Not marked, but that's cute. I like those bigger red ones. They're like. Summer barbecues. Okay, this one's cute too. Little heart with some scroll work. Ooh, that's a hefty, a hefty hook. That's just some, is it cat eye? It's hard to tell. Yeah, that's like cat eye enamel on there. It's really pretty. You know how to do it. Have your brother help you. Excuse me. Alrighty, we are back. Okay, here's another hook earring. That's pretty. Lots of pretty earrings in this one. Ooh, I like this too. That color a cat eye bead is adorable. It's like a peachy coral almost. I may have to restring it, but I will restring that one because I like it because I'm a sucker for cat eyes. Okay, here's an angel, a little silver tone angel. She's got a little pink gem. She's cute. This is a Camco, a Camco angel pin. These are cute. Painted florals like lilies. That's really pretty. Okay, here we have a screw back, genuine pewter, and it is it's a um, pelican. I'm getting tired of that blue on my fingernail. It's annoying. <laughs> but it's like a pelican etched into there. That's really cute. Here is... This is a 1928 as well. You can see the scroll work on the back. It's a really pretty one. It's like a topaz there and topaz -y AB crystals. And that's really pretty. Oof loving these. Is that just dirty? Yeah, that's just dirty. And a little bent. Okay, I can fix that. Nice earrings. Earring, earring, earring. This needs shine. Something awful. We got a... And this is an earring. I was going to say it was a pin, but it's not. Little earring. This is... Okay, but see, it's a little bare and a little wreath hanging down. Needs to be cleaned. Oof, I feel like I should know that mark. I don't know. <laughs> I'll look it up. Okay, cute silver dangle. Just a, like a regular little baby hoop. Here is a, a silver hoop. Hoop. Mm. I've got so many hoops. I'm going to just, no, I'm going to say no to hoops for a while. Okay, this is cute. It's got a little dangle crystal there and this like round scrolls. That's pretty. Little fashion earring. Here is another clip on. Like, double sure they want this to stay on. This is a stud and then the clip. <laughs> Only that is not very strong anymore. But it sure is pretty. That is pretty. Hmm, we'll see what I can do with that. Here is a choker. 
it is in really good shape. It's really, it's nice and thick. I'll put that in my chain pile or choker pile or whatever I've got going on over there. Here's that other flower. Is it the same one or is it a different one? Is it like a different kind of flower? Where's the other one? It is different. Again, similar, but different. We'll get a collection of those and see what's up. Here is another dangle. This one is gold tone. Pretty. This totally reminds me of the Variety Club heart pins that they do at movie theaters. It's just a thin gold heart. Here's a clip-on. Not sure what that's made of, but it's cute. This is probably not something I'll sell. No, there's nothing wrong with handmade earrings. It's just this one. It's like they use the entire loop and it's just, it's crooked and weird looking. And it doesn't look quality. You know what I mean? This is a plain gold earring. Here we've got some music note earrings. Those are really cute. Very cute. I like those. You have to look at these a little bit closer. Boomer probably has to go potty. I'm going to have to let him out in a minute. Okay, let's take a closer look. It says something inside the butt of the music note. Of course, I can't see it with my regular one. Okay, I'm going to look a little closer here. Oof, it's hard to see. It's a maker's mark, it's JBB. Cool. Maker's marks are always good. JBB. Okay, I can't do this. Oh, <laughs> my fingers aren't working today. Oof. All right. Those are cute. Okie dokie, here's another Christmas earring. This one is glitter. It's like, it's okay, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's cute. I like this. I was thinking about going to the mailbox and taking the dog out. <laughs> Look, it's a, what is that? Oh, it's an angel. I was going to say it's like a giraffe head or a zebra head, but nope, it's an angel. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, cute. And here's a really nice one. Little drop down, blue. This is like resin work, it's really pretty. Here's another stretchy bracelet. It's just plastic, faceted, silver tone, and it's very tired, so that's going to the lot. Teardrop earring. A little worn out, but not too badly. This, oh! Why is there so many Atlanta pins? Like I got, this is a local thrift store and I got, I think, was it Long Beach or something? Or I don't know, but we've had a lot of Atlanta Olympics pins, which isn't a bad thing. It's just kind of strange to me. There's that other earring. So we have a pair. This is cute too. This is Trafari. Definitely needs clean. It's just a simple little square gold tone. And here we have a pendant, a little religious pendant. This is a, ooh, that's a big pendant. I like that. Boom. And this is a beautiful little open work gold tone. Earring. I couldn't get that out of my, out of my mouth today. Here's a clip on. Not marked. Here is another heart. It might be missing a stone in the middle, but it might not be because it's shiny. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Here's the here's another J Crew. I was gonna say the other, but it's just another because it's not the same. And all the stones are there. That's nice. Okay, I've got here a little pair of that one's got like hairspray all over it. See how that one's like matte and that one's not? 
<laughs> These are Marvella. Those are cute. Little Marvella screwbacks. This is a lovely bluish purple tone dangle earring. This is a pendant, little glass pendant. Really pretty. Here's a peace sign hoop. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, peace signs. That's cool. Hey, a watch face. Gossip. Watch face. I like that. Very, very cool. What's this guy? That's cute too. Little enamel. Triangle. <laughs> this one says Fendi. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe it is Fendi. Here is a like a wire work pendant. That's cool. Very, very lightweight. Here's a little butterfly earring. That's sweet. It's a key ring. This is pretty. It's silver tone with some dangles and some open work. And it just says China on the back. These are fun. These little dangle rhinestone ones. I love these. These are so fun. What's this? This is a pin. A blingin' pin. Doop. Needs shined. <laughs> and another dangle with a great big plastic bead. <laughs> this is pretty. Look at that. What a pretty stone. Such a nice color. No mark. That's really sweet. Here's an AB pendant. Or just a little dangly thingy. You can hang it on anything. <laughs> this dangle has everything. It's a pretty one too. <laughs> this is Anne Klein. Little clip on. Gold tone, hoopy. This is a sterling ear thing, which is great, but that then we just got some beadwork. Great for Fourth of July. There's that other like handmade one. Just can't. I just can't do it. Okay. This is just like a plastic acrylic. That's really cool though. You see the swirls in there? God, that's pretty. Not marked. Ooh, sorry, earring. A dangle. It's like a piece of shell right there. That might be shell too. That's cute. We got a pair to that one. Very cool. Or is that just a, it's another one of itself? Oh, this is a different one. See, this is the one with the lily and this is a different one. Similar, but different. What the heck? Oh, I could give this to my husband. This is a Scorpio. And he's a little worn out. He's a pin. Gosh, that's funny. Ooh. That is elegant. Simple, understated, but still blingy. Just enough bling. Unmarked. Super pretty. This is just a bead, a seed bead elastic. Okay, so this here is a silver tone, funky shape, and it says, ooh, 1999 T&Co. Is that Tasco silver? That's nice. Silver mug. I'm gonna have to go through that silver mug. It's getting full and I don't know what's in there. Ooh, a cat eye. That's sweet and very simple and simple. So dainty and cute. I might keep that one. This one says Jesus first. I'm going to say that can't be part of that. Oh, it could have been part of that, but it's not. Okay. This is a kind of a matte gold tone. We'll see what color it is after I clean it. It's like a double teardrop. 
<laughs> my poor puppy. Okay. Um, that needs clean too. It's got a very, unless it's supposed to be matte like that. Maybe it is. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a quick break and take the poor puppy out. Be right back. There we go. You poor little puppy. Okay. Let's keep going. Here we have an angel. This is a, like a ceramics little angel. She's all right, I guess, but meh. Okie dokie, we've got a gold tone ball chain. And it's got a couple little, come here, buddy. Has some heart charms at the bottom and then a couple of these guys. Looks like it's missing one between here and here. That's strange. Meh. Mm, that one's pretty. Ooh, wow. That's shiny. Bright and shiny. No mark. Very pretty, though. Holy cow. Nice earrings. This one's cute. No mark on that one either. Just this gold tone little clip on. Okay, here we go. Another gold tone clip on. This one is from Monet. If you can see Monet right there, very nice. And this is the black enamel with gold stripes too. Very cool. I am making a video. Can you please um, keep it down? Thank you. And these are plastic, but these are neat. This is like, yeah, that's really cool. Little dangle. Here is Holly Berry. Pin. That's not a pin, it's a clip-on, I guess. But it also has something hiding in here. It is patent pending. <laughs> eh, cute. Silver tone needs shined. It's like a funky wide graduated hoop. <laughs> Silver tone. And this little clip-on, not clip-on, lever back earring, gold tone with a little butterfly and pink jewels. So cute. Yep, very tired elastic on that one. Ooh, that's nice. It's just like shine metal work on that and then this little faceted jewel gem thing right there. Earring, here is a napier. Napier. A little gold tone that's shiny and then matte. That's really sweet. It's a pendant. This is cute. I like the color on that. It's a simple pearl. That's cute too. Again, this isn't I don't think this is malachite, but it's like shined up metal. No, that's definitely not malachite. And then a little gem in the middle. And this little drop down fake pearl. That's cute. Here's a pendant. This is shell, made to look like a little hibiscus flower. Very tropical and sweet. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> this is like a washer um, pendant. And it's got some black spots on it. And it's signed, oh, it says 925 right there. Sweet. And it says Baroni, B-A-R-O-N-I, Baroni. Neat. Into my mug. I've got a match, a match. I wanted to say mate and match at the same time. So it came out as mate. <laughs> Good, we got those ones. Those ones match up nicely. Here we got a little dangly clip on. Needs cleaning. It is marked. This is a Trafari as well. Definitely needs cleaned. <laughs> we got a skull and crossbones. A little pendant. That's cute. Then 
this was a pendant turned earring, or maybe it was just an earring at all times, but it's like that glass work. Very cool glass work. More red, white, and blue. Little clip on. This looks painful, <laughs> but it's cool. Maybe I'll try to sell the red, white, and blue ones locally in the next couple of weeks. It's nice. Silver tone with the black inside. Oof. Everything needs cleaned. A little tiny itty bitty ring with a circle. There's another flower. So cute. I think they're just polymer clay. It might even be handmade. Here's a sweet little angel pin. It's got a pearly body and a little halo and a blue gem. No mark. Little dangle. And it's got, that's one of those glitter beads. That's pretty. Okie dokie. This one is a little square silver tome with a big old gem. Very cute. Here's an earring. It has little C's all the way around it. Not marked. Here's that other J. Crew with all of its baguettes intact. Those will go to the lot, I'm sure, because I'm not going to fix that. Oh, we got a mate to that one, too. A mate. <laughs> Losing my mind. Match. I love some matched earrings. Ooh, this is cute. Okay. Here we have a tassel, gold tassel hook earring. Ooh, a pin. Oh, it's a precious moments pin. It's like an angel, an angel nurse, maybe? That's poignant at this time of year. Fall stuff going on. That's really cute. Ooh, boy, that is geometric. It's a little damaged right there. It's just a plastic faceted little gem earring. It's kind of fun. Another one of those. Very, very tired. Here's another watch. Pendant, it looks like. Because it's a watch on this side and it's a some pearls on this side. Missing pearls right there. And it is a Semis, S-E-M-A-S. -S. 17 jewels, Swiss made. Hmm. That's cool. We'll look that up for sure. 17 jewels, doesn't that usually mean that it's a uh, automatic? Like it'll, there's another lever back. Very cool. Okay, what else have we got? That's cool. <laughs> I hope that cleans up, that's really cute. Okay, let's keep on digging. Ooh, got some tiger's eye, little piece off of something, maybe a pendant. That's nice. I like tiger's eye. Okay, here. Come here, buddy. Okay, here is a flower. It's got some verdigris in here. Mm, checking it over. At first glance, it does not appear to be missing any jewels. And that is really pretty. I will clean that up and sell it. Okay, so this is strung on a safety pin. But it's a pretty butterfly. If I can get it to do something else instead of that, I don't know. Because this is a heart. Little heart. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay, little heart lever earring. And 925JCM. 925 silver mug. Boink. Fuzz. Okay. Oh, we got a mate to that one too. Do we? Or oh no, yeah, we do. I was seeing the bottom of something else. So we got a mate to that. This is cute. 
Little enamel work, silver. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> it's like a Western style. It's got pink and purple and turquoisey blue. And it's sterling. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Okay, yeah, lots of earrings here. This is some shell. Shell, shell, shell. And then whatever this is, it's got some gold splatter work. Simple silver tone twisty hoop. This had something on it. It had something glued to it. It's not really how you do that. Not that I'm an expert, but I don't think you're supposed to <laughs> glue findings onto other findings. I'll keep that, though. Why not? Ooh, this is nice. Mm. It needs a different jump ring because this is like a key ring jump ring. That's a nice stone. That's really neat. Is that stone or is that plastic? Oh yeah, that's plastic. That's cool though. I like it. Here we've got some more religious symbolism. Wow. I'm gonna test that one for silver. Did I have the other one to this? I think I do, but this one has crooked stones down there. So we'll see. We will see. Okay, let's change it up a little bit from earrings. And take a peek at this. At first glance, I thought it was natural stone, but it is not. These are all plastic. Looks like a Minecraft necklace. <laughs> That's cool, but it's got a little cross on it. That's fun. That's fun, but it's plastic. That's boring, it's plastic. Here's a hair thing, which is pretty, but I don't sell hair things. Here is a stretchy something with some beads. See ya. It is a Christmas tree missing a lot of its little gems. There and there, two of its little gems, but that's like a third of its gems, so. Mm, meh. I'll put that in a lot too. Sorry, little thing. That's cool. It needs a proper back, but that's neat. Gold tone. And this is like mesh. Mesh work with tassels. Very cute. Yep. Just another little silver hoop. I think I have the mate. The I did it again. The mate, the match. <laughs> Just oof. <clears throat> you peed in your diaper so much? Yeah. You're going to take it off and pee on the potty then. Mm. Well, we'll talk about it later. Here's another so polymer clay. So yes, dear. Another polymer, cl polymer clay flower. This is nice too. Little glass beads, wire wrapped. It's boring at this house. Yeah. This is a 925 silver chain. Maybe it says Tiffany & Co. Nice. The stamp looks good <laughs> at first glance. So boring at this house. Tiffany & Co. Nine two five. Oh, I'm so bored. Hmm. I'm so bored. Keep that over there. Oh yeah, the mate to this guy that I liked so much. Mama, I'm so bored. Yay! Mates, those are mine. I like those. Mama, Keeping. I'm, so bored. I'm sorry you're bored, honey. I'm not the keeper of fun though. This says seven hundred. Excelsior, Stanford, Connecticut. Just a random. Plasticky key. I don't know why, if that would be worth anything, but I doubt it. Eesh. What's happening? Oof. Just says Japan on it. 
Another stretchy bracelet. These little gold tone, matte gold plastic beads, and they're in bad shape. Too bad. These are fun too. Again, just plastic. Again, just plastic. Honey, I don't know. Honey, look at me. I think there's one on the island counter. Check. It is, if you would just look. Ten bucks. It says it's right exactly where I said it was. Oh, I forgot I put this on. Ten bucks. Told you. He owes me ten dollars. <laughs> this is cool. This is very multifaceted this little plastic bead right there. That's very nice. More earrings. This is a an enamel. Little swirled enamel dude. This is Sarah Coventry. Needs shined up, but that's very pretty. Excuse me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.